were six teachers and seven students in the group. Uh, most of them were from Texas, but there was also some from Rhode Island and Illinois. Um, so it was really cool because we were all there because we wanted to be, and we all like science. So uh, one of the teachers, Clara, expressed she, every day she gets super excited because she was so happy that people would laugh at her nerdy science jokes and not look at her strangely, which we still did because they were very nerdy. But um, but it was really nice because we all got along really well. I don't think we had a single fight no. between anyone. Um, and we just worked really well together, had lots of laughs. Um, one of the things that I enjoyed the most was that there was um, another woman there who was a roly, roller derby uh, champion on a team. And so she was in training for um, the upcoming season. I was in training for a variety of races that I was doing. So every morning, pretty much, we got, got up and either took a run or twice we took a, some of the students and we hiked up the nearest mountain, which took about an hour and a half to get up and down. So we'd start off the hike in the dark with our phones and flashlights. And by about 20 minutes into it, it would start getting light out. So we got to see the sunrise two different mornings. And by the time we got up to the top of the mountain, the sun was just starting to come up. And uh, we saw island foxes and deer. And um, that was really fun. And it wasn't a super difficult climb because it wound around a lot, but it was a really good bonding experience. That we got to share all our meals. It was a cafeteria style, and it was the best food ever. It was amazing. Every meal was just like, it was healthy and nutritious, and it was amazing, and it tasted good. Anyway, so, but it was nice because in one room we had our team. There was another student group there uh, that was there for four of the days we were there from California. Um, they, that school has a program for outdoor education. And so they were there to do a lot of the similar things we were doing, but on their own, as well as all the researchers, all the staff, uh, all ate together. So if you had a question for one of the researchers, um, you could go ask them, but a lot of times they would sit with us. So it was really nice to get to know them better as well. And then we went to Avalon for a day. We called it our shopping day. Everybody was excited because they got to wear their own clothes. <laughs> and <laughs> so we went there, uh, we went shopping, we went to the beach, we ate lunch. Um, we went to some museums and we saw some cool artwork. Um, we also did fun things like white elephant gift exchanges. We had to bring an item from home that no one knew what it was and people had to guess it, which actually was a lot harder than you'd think. We brought really good things that no one had any idea what they were. Um, so that was fun. We did, we did volleyball. We decided to split up into groups, girls against boys. Everybody there, all the students played volleyball. So happy. People grew to become very good friends on that trip. Um, f for me personally, I became friends with a girl named Anjali and we would have sleepovers in our little cottage because she had a room to herself and it was our last night in the hotel we stayed up late and did card games and like we played mafia that was fun 